we've had practice partitioning kilograms, and we're going to apply that to other numbers. We're going to apply it to quantities with metres, quantities with litres, and just to numbers. Just like we can have five kilograms, we can just have five as a number. So you're going to partition each of these, as I've shown it here, into a whole number and tenths. OK? But for a star challenge, you might be able to partition it in many different ways, like we've just done. So for 2.4 kilograms, I can partition it as 2 kilograms and 0 0.4 kilograms. But I might also write it as 1 kilogram add 1.4 kilograms. OK. You've got probably five minutes to do this bit of work, so get your books out for the first bit of written work. Well, I'm doing 2.4 kilogram meters plus um, 1.4 me meters because um, 4 plus 4 equals 8, so that's 8 tenths. So I've done, as there are three holes, yep. I've put three whole yep. meters there. Good. And I've put an 8 tenths of a meter there. Good, fantastic. Now, do you like when we have the kilograms on the board, we partition them in lots of different ways. Is there a different way that you could split up your 3.8 uh, yeah. eight metres? Um, you could do ki 2 kilograms in 1.8. Good, and we're working with metres here, but it's exactly the same idea. You're right, you can apply what you've learned with kilograms. Right, so put another equal sign for me. OK, fantastic. Any other ways you can think of? Um, yeah. Fantastic. And in fact, Perrin, I wanted to get really confident with partitioning numbers in lots of different ways. So if we wanted to, we could also partition the tenths. So I could write something like 3.3 mm, metres add... 3.5. Add... add 0.5. Fantastic, meters. fantastic. So we're just learning there's lots and lots of different ways that we can partition up decimal numbers. Fantastic, Perrin. Okay, keep on with your work. So what does the four represent? The whole kilogram. Good, got four whole kilograms. And what does the five represent? The tenths. Good. At one stage at the back of the class, I was working with Santino and Tawana's table, and they were struggling with um, the task itself and needed me to go back over um, the first, I think it was the partitioning one that I was working on with them. So let's write that as a number sentence. Equals four kilograms, you told me. You told me there were four whole kilograms. Don't forget your addition in the middle. Four kilograms plus five tenths. Good, five tenths. Now, what did Janil teach us about how to write tenths? What you've been writing there. The tenths sit on the right side of the decimal. Good. OK, so now you've got them on the left, so I'm just going to cross that out. I want you to start again. Think about how we write five tenths. They sit on the right-hand side of the decimal point. Absolutely brilliant, Santino. Okay. Good, and this time it's kilograms. So let's look at that number oh. sentence and check we're confident with it. 4.5 kilograms equals 4 kilograms add... 5, five kilograms. Oh my God, I'm so five kilograms. Five tenths. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm so of a kilogram. Of a kilogram. Good boy. And how do we know that those are the tenths? Because it's on the right hand side of the decimal point. Absolutely fantastic. Can you do exactly the same with 2.6? Can we partition it into whole number and some tenths? So once we'd looked at that, they were then quite able to quite quickly kind of work through the others. And can you partition it in lots of I, what I'd like you to do, the star challenge was partitioning in many different ways, okay? Oh, so I'm going to rub those out, and then I know that this bit you're with through, but what I would like you to do, yeah, this, we're going to learn a different way oh, right, to okay. split this up in section B. We were going to think about place value in a completely different way. So I'd like you to now focus on partitioning that in many different okay. ways. So you've done that one way, what other ways can you do? And I've said to Piran, we, we've looked at just splitting up the whole numbers, but sometimes we, we could partition it into tenths. So I could... Um, two kilograms plus 2.5 kilograms. Absolutely fantastic. And I could partition the tenths if I wanted to. So I could have 4.2 kilograms, add... 
4.2 kilograms. Plus 0 0.3 kilograms. Yeah, so I could partition up the tents if I wanted to. Thanks. So see if you can get a few more of those done then, then Felix. Hi, Diane. Let's see. I don't think it needs sharpening. I think you're okay. Well, the star challenge is to partition each of these in different ways. So the this one I did for the first one. 2.4 plus 1.4 meters, and another way to do it is 3 meters plus 0 0.8 meters, and they got the same answer still. Right, I love that you're thinking about it as fractions, and we're going to be going on to that. But these fractions here aren't right. What I'll do is, after the lesson, I'll grab you two out and we'll go through it together. Okay. If we wanted to partition it in some different ways, we could do exactly what you guys just did before when you came up and showed the class, Maisie. So you could partition it into two kilograms and. Well, if I. What do I split that up into? Two kilograms and. Let's have a look. Two. two. Go on. What do you think, Maisie? Two so if I partition one side into two kilograms, and the other three sides into. Are we doing that? Yeah, look at my hole here. Four point five. Two point five. Absolutely wonderful, Maisie. So you could write that as a number sentence. And what I'll do is Put we're doing back. some. Yeah, you could write 4.5 equals 2 kilograms, add 2.5 kilograms. That would be another way you could do it. We're going to do some um, fractions in a minute, but then what I'll do is I'll pull you out after the lesson and we'll just go over um, the way you've done it and why that's not right for this one. Okay? Great. Right, guys, you've worked really hard on the first section.